What's up guys? This is Logan here with Infinite Game and Respawn and IGR Rips. And we've got a Scarlet EX Japanese box today. I've been uh, wanting a toy with trying to sell some Japanese cards, some Japanese singles on my eBay account. So I figured I'd record myself opening the box. It's not a new set or anything, but there is a, a good chase card in here. The Gardevoir is what we're looking for. And there's a few good backup chases, so that's why I decided on this. And I wanted to see if y'all were interested in watching these box openings. So, here we go. Uh, while we're getting this open, we'll go ahead and recap. We done the Bloomboro bundle last time. Um, I really honestly thought we'd done better than we did. That Rotten Mouth Viper was only $9. I couldn't believe it. Um, out of the big hits, we basically come out like right around what the bundle sell for. I think we were actually like $5 short of what if we just sold the bundle. But there was some decent bulk in there. And then with the, the lands and stuff, we'll end up doing okay. But definitely didn't come out as great as I expected. Um, I think Bloomboro prices will go up in time. I'm just going to pop this open all pretty light, but it doesn't seem like it wants to pop. There it went. Um, I think Bloomboro prices will go up in time. I think right now, um, everybody's fo so focused on modern, and there's not really much in there I see having an impact on modern. Um, once stuff, people start figuring out what standard decks are going to look like after rotation, I think we'll see a lot more um, there. So, let's get into it, guys. Into the Pokemon Scarlet EX. And of course, the first pack's gonna fight me really hard. Oh, yeah, maybe. There we go. Pawn art. Now, the weird thing here is we do actually, we did actually hit a rare. We, um, every pack in Japanese is not actually guaranteed a rare. So, that's always good getting a rare, even though it's not a great one. Uh, Japanese boxes are very specific though. You have a pretty good breakdown of exactly what you're going to hit in a box. Um, as far as like your, uh, art rares and your secrets and stuff like that. So you never have like a whiff, but you don't normally have like a huge box either unless you hit like a god pack. Like see, there's no rare in this pack. It's two uncommons. It's definitely different. I have actually grown to like the Japanese cards. I'm transitioning a lot of my personal stuff. I'm looking, I'm doing more in Japanese. Hey, our first hit. We got a Karai on EX. That's a decent hit out of this set. Let's see, we'll put the good hits over here. That's one of the better cards. It's not super expensive, but in uh, Japan, it's worth a decent bit more in Japanese than it was in English last I checked. Nothing but other comments. Um, you can technically sell Japanese cards on TCG Player. It's kind of a pain in the butt. Um, I don't really recommend it, at least from what I've seen. Um, I've heard, I've seen people having some success selling Japanese cards on T uh, eBay. Um, I've got a couple ideas I want to try, and that's why we're doing this, to sort of see how it works. If so, we'll open more Japanese boxes. Hey, look at that. We got our second art rare. Let's go. Um... Let me know if y'all would like to see more Japanese boxes or if this is something that y'all are even interested in. I mean, I always check the views, of course, but comments and likes help us anyway, so I'd love for you to tell me in the comments what you thought of this. And we got us over here. And, uh, yeah. I'll still, uh, link the TCG player in the show notes, but you will not find these on here. It'll be on our eBay page. Um, if this is something y'all would be interested in linking to the eBay page, I'll let you know, but most... Most of our cards go on TCG Player. This is something new I'm trying. So, no rare. Wah, wah, wah. But it's something I've gotten really interested in. And we've actually been toying with selling some Japanese stuff in the store. And it's done really well in store. Like, it's been successful. We've sold probably 10, 12 boxes in the store since we started really messing with the uh, Japanese the last uh, few months. We've toyed with it off and on. I've just started to get serious about doing more Japanese stuff the last few months, and it's done really well for us. Hey, look at that. We got a third art rare. Let's go. I think it's four art rares. Two secrets? No. One secret? It might be four art rares, one secret. I can't ever remember. Um, I'm at that sweet spot where I know. Hey, let's go. That's a regular rare. We'll take that. I'm at that sweet spot where I know enough about the Japanese packs to kind of know I'm expecting a certain amount of hits, but I can't remember the exact number of each one. Hey, we got a Gyarados. Let's go. The thing with Japanese cards, though, if you look at these, like, you don't find near as many printing errors as you do in English. The quality control over there is just so much better. Um, so they grade really well. 
Um, that's why I'm tra I'm transitioning a lot of my stuff to graded. Man, that's, we're on a run right here. I'm transitioning a lot of my stuff to graded for personal collections. I master set it for a little bit, and I just I really lost interest in it. It just wasn't for me. Um, I think my ADD just uh, doesn't allow me to really enjoy it. It becomes like stressful, um, especially if I don't finish the set before the next set comes out. So it's great for some people, and it's it is it can be fun. Hey, we got the Cruella. That's our fourth art rare. I believe that should be all of our art rares, and we should have a secret still though. Um, for some people, I think uh, master setting is great. It just wasn't my thing, um, and I realized there hit a point where I just wasn't enjoying it anymore. It felt more like a chore, and so I, at that point, I'm like, "There's no reason to do this. This is a hobby." The master setting is it's not for the business it's just a hobby and if i'm not enjoying it anymore there's no reason to do it i do really enjoy sending off stuff to get graded and uh seeing what i get back and uh i like the graded cards and showing off like sort of putting aside my graded stuff i like the way they look i like having them locked up and sealed and everything so i, I enjoy it that's what i've sort of in my collection too no hits there feel like it's been a pretty decent box though i recently i went i was wanting to get more of the japanese stuff and i recently got hooked up with a uh with a guy out of texas that uh is actually importing straight from japan and uh very reasonable prices so i've or done a couple orders through him now and i want to start doing more because the prices are so good so i'm trying to i'm gonna try a strategy i've come up with on ebay to see how well we can sell Japanese singles. Because we already do a lot with English singles on TCG Player, so I want to diversify a little bit, not rely so much on one site and uh, one category. And this is completely separate from what we've been doing, and I'm curious to see how that works out in the long run. And I'll definitely update y'all, let you know. Whenever you have a card shop, Anybody that has a card shop will know there's so many up and downs in the market and you have to be prepared to pivot at any given time because anything could happen. Hey, we got a Toxic Rookie X. Anything could happen and the tides turn. When we opened, we were a heavy, heavy, heavy Pokemon store. Like that was like 70% of our sales was Pokemon, like over video games, over magic, it was, it was Pokemon. And then as times went on, like Pokemon's fell to like 10% of our sales at one point. And now it's like slowly ticking back up. Like to the point of like, I'm about to have to start ordering restock for the first time in six months because we're actually running out of stuff. So like normally it was just order the new stuff when I come out. So you have to be willing to pivot. Um, I really think there's a good market here. I think the Japanese product is actually better for collectability because you get to open so much more so cheap and the quality is so much better for collectors. I really think this is gonna be a growing market for collectors. Um, and I think the English market is gonna pivot more to playability. Um, I may be wrong, that's kind of what I'm predicting. So I'm trying to get in the Japanese stuff because I think that's gonna, that's where the market's headed for collectors. And we'll see if I'm right in the long run, but we did not get a secret. We ended up with a whole lot of bulk. That is going to be the fun part, trying to move this. That's going to be interesting to see how well I can move the bulk. I've got some ideas, but we'll see what happens with that. I do think these art rares, our four art rares we hit, I think those will be pretty easy to move. I think those will sell pretty well on eBay. Um, we'll find out. And I think we've got something we can pair, do some pairing with these other EXs and these bulk rares with the bulk and make some packs is kind of my plan. Try to make some bulk packs. You know, a couple rares, maybe an EX and some bulk to filter that stuff out. But we'll see. Um, I figure this will be the quick money. This is where the money is. And then we got to, you know my rule. Anybody who's watched me long enough, if you're going to open product to sell, you have to sell it all. So I'm going to have to incorporate this stuff. And I think I'm going to do some, some bulk packs mixed with a good card or two. So that way people feel decent about like, hey, I'm getting some random cards no duplicates i'll get some i'll get one good face card and maybe a couple bulk rares as well but 
that's kind of the goal. I will update y'all and let y'all know. Um, it's hard out there, guys. We got to find every way we can to make money. And if I, you know, if this works, then I'll pass it along to y'all. And uh, everybody can win. Everybody can win together. I very much believe that competition is a, is not necessarily a bad thing in this industry. And that we're, there's plenty, plenty of Pokemon, plenty of Magic, plenty of Lorcana business to go around. Like, we don't have to fight each other. We should all, like, come up with ideas and help each other. And I, I will happily share what I find out about how this works. But until next time, we are Infinite Game and Respawn. You can find us online at www.infinitegameandrespawn.com. You can find us on whatnot at IGR underscore NC. You can find us on eBay at uh, Infinite Game and Respawn NC. You can find us on a TCG Player at uh, uh, Infinite Gaming NC. And Facebook, Instagram, both Infinite Game and Respawn. Um, any questions, feel free to comment. I do check the comments. Um, yeah. I think that's it. So have a good night. Bye.